Hey, welcome back, tubers. I thought I would give you a little bit of a rundown of where I'm up with my little, what do you call this, studio? It looks more studio now than it did before, with exception to that poor desk. And I guess we'll start with that. Um, the desk will be, the top of the desk will be staying the same because this has got all my scribbles all over it and heat shrink and where I do my batteries for the last five years or four years, I've done most of my builds on that bench. Some on that bench as well, obviously, but that bench top was on the bench that was sitting here before. So that's staying. I'm going to do some sort of customer table bench thing underneath. I don't know. I'm not very creative with that sort of stuff. So... Um, I've also got three big studio lights, um, each one, these two have five light bulbs, this one has one massive light bulb in it, um, and I think they're like 250 watts each, so they, they do consume a lot of power. Um, now, the plan is, I want to actually move this power wall sort of over there, perhaps, and then I've got a little 24 volt inverter I want to set up, so... The plan is I can run all of this off-grid. I don't know if that's going to actually work with the inverter I've got, but I'm still going to try and give that a, a, a good hard crack just to try and, and do what I say I do with this corner alone. Not the rest of the shed, just this little corner. So I'm going to do that in one of the two of the next videos, I reckon. So that's the plan. This is coming over here. Now, I do have a maps cabinet over here. And this, like, this is the shit corner of my shed, I promise you. I've got a maps cabinet here I got from uh, Rowan. Now, this is some fairly heavy steel. And I wasn't planning on showing this, but it's, um, it's a decent steel cabinet. It's double walled, so it's nice and heavy. And it is fire rated. So there is the option of putting that. Got a little lid that lifts up on the top. And there's more than enough room to put two battery packs in the back of that. So that is another option for my battery pack over in this corner. And that would, I guess I envisioned it sort of sitting in that corner down there somewhere. I'm not altogether sure where it will go. It could also go over here because it's not really a feature point because you can't see inside of it. But inverter or something up there that's sort of solar charge controllers and stuff there on the wall and going down into that would work as well, I guess. So that's the plan for this. I don't think I'm gonna put a TV on the back. I was gonna put a TV on the back, but I do like this green screen. So let's talk about the green screen a little bit more. The green screen is freaking cool, but it is only a $10 green screen off eBay. Um, very dodgily attached to the wall for now, and every time I turn the fan on, it just blaps around in the wind. Now, I don't know whether or not I plan on doing this whole wall green or not. I think I will eventually, but it does look quite good white. It looks nice and clean and finished. Now around this side, we've got obviously the workbench. Um, and we have got, we've got one GoPro. That's the GoPro 8 sitting up there. And that's connected to this iPhone. So I can actually see what I'm looking at. And then I have three of these mounts, which is from Daniel from DIY Tech and Repairs. Told me about these little mounts that sit on the side. They're microphone mounts or something like that. Work really, really well. I think they're about 30 bucks each. I'll do the thing and link them below. But they work really, really well. I want to try and do the Lewis Rosman type setup where I'm going to get a stream deck down here. And then I'm going to control my OBS down here. So I've got a little Logitech camera there. With the OBS on this side, I've got my last video that I did. So I'm just playing that and I've got that sort of superimposed on the green screen. And then on this one, on that side, I have that screen. So that can be anything. It's just Batrium because, you know, hashtag I do Batrium. But, and I, it's no joke that I watch this constantly. It's my thing to watch. It's my television. So, Tubers, what do you what do you think? So, I'm going to be doing this battery today, later on. I'm going to be testing this out. What do you reckon? Is there anything else I need to add? Somebody can tell me a desk, but I don't woodwork, so I've got to see what that happens with that. <laughs> anyway, Tubers, this has been a little bit of an update. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I don't know which camera to look at. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.